Hi, and welcome to NPRC's new Early Childhood Education Lab. Our ECE students are working towards earning an Associate of Applied Science degree, which means not only are they learning theories of child development and skills in teaching and learning, but also learning how to apply what they know into jobs in the early childhood field one day. And we thought, what better way to do that than with a hands-on learning lab set up to model classrooms that our students will be working in one day. We created this space to be fully flexible. Everything is on wheels. So as they learn principles of classroom design, they're able to put that directly into use in this room. When you come into the room, the first station you come across is our art center. Right now, it's equipped with an easel, a chalkboard, and a whiteboard, and this cart will be fully stocked with art supplies. It's also right next to our science station. Right now, it's set up for springtime, and we have that opportunity to show students how to make learning displays, and also create an opportunity for students to have that hands-on, minds-on sort of learning that allows students to fully engage with material. So while we have this display with springtime flowers and buds, we can also look at sensory learning with this table here. It's equipped with opportunities to pour dry and wet materials. There's magnets, magnifying glasses, and mirrors. So learn how to engage toddlers in looking and observing the world through their senses. Our STEM area here is fully stocked with science and math materials and manipulatives. We have all these measurement tools to learn how to not only do the math skills of measurement, but also the science skills of observation and engaging with materials. We also have our math manipulatives because we know that students learn math skills best when they have that opportunity for concrete experiences. So we learn not only how to play with the manipulatives, but how to use them for intentional teaching strategies. As we walk through the student seating area where our students will be sitting during their classes, the next area that we come across is our block center. Now, blocks is the most underutilized teaching tool in early childhood today. Over 75% of classrooms have block centers, but teachers use them less than 20% of the time for actual intentional teaching. So we not only have blocks, but we have accessories to go along with them and ways to engage literacy along with math, science, engineering, and spatial skills. As we move around with the shelves here, and again, this is one of those shelves that we can move, modulate, rearrange this room as necessary, we come into the literacy area. We have this set up to model what it's like for circle time in an early childhood classroom with our calendar to learn how to model those teaching strategies in a direct instructional setting on a carpet. We also have books, alphabet books, nonfiction, letter manipulatives to make sure that students are, again, learning how to make a tool used for an instructional purpose, not just play. We're also working on stocking our reading library here. We're featuring books right now uh, on the top shelf looking at emotions and friendship. The bottom two shelving areas right now are focused on families and also featuring books with diversity. We want teachers to know how to showcase learning materials that engage diverse learners and let them see themselves in the materials in their classroom. Our last area that we set up is for the youngest learners and our infant toddler specialist students. In the infant toddler area, all of the toys are intentionally chosen so that they engage the senses and also are not choking hazards. So we have some of our indestructible books. We have some pegs in our pegboard plenty of puppets, some sensory tools for engaging, um, feeling squishing, shaking of the bottles, watching the confetti fall, and then our soft blocks to learn those stacking skills. I can't wait to welcome our students and also all of our early education partners into this learning space. It's going to be great.